three exercises that we're going to be doing. The exercises have a lot of advantages. It gives you a chance at low speed to explore the limits of your car. I think what's more important is to start understanding the delay between input and actual reaction. When you go for the brakes, I want you to think in your own mind where you expect the car will come to a stop. Because, of course, every kind of important feedback in your life is to, well, can I get stopped in time or do I have to maneuver? I want to talk just briefly about oversteer and understeer, and we're going to try and relate them a little bit to some of the turns on the learning surface. So, remembering that tires like to go straight, all tires have what's called a slip angle, which basically is usually around 10%. So, in other words, if you actually turn to follow this line, the car will actually go outside of this line because tires slip. And that's normal in their performance. That's how they grip, that's how they get their grip. Okay, so again, this is all about you, and it's all about your car, and it's all about comfort, consistency, you know, see the you know, smoothness, control, all that good stuff. You will be better drivers.